So when we talk about glaciers, we often talk about how the U-shaped valleys are a dead giveaway that an area used to have uh, glaciers in it, like Yosemite is a very famous example of that. And so what we mean by that is that if we were to look in a cross section, um, the valleys that a glacier cuts really do look often like this, and the valleys that a water cuts often looks like a V shaped like that. Um, and so the reason why this happens is if you think about the way water works. So if we had to start with just a flat landscape and we've got this little bit of water flowing right here, it tends to flow at a point because it's so fluid that it just immediately rushes down slope. And so as it does that, it's gonna keep cutting down if it, if it flows fast enough to down cut. And so natural erosion is gonna erode that back. It's going to cut down further and natural slow erosion is gonna cut that back. So it kind of produces this little shape like that, which gets wider and wider. So you end up with these kind of rolling type landscapes, these little V points where all the water has um, made the little incisions there. When we think about ice, ice doesn't flow like water so quickly, so it tends to get wider. So instead of, this was our original point across, instead of being kind of this down cutting this way, it gets wide. And so because of that, it can really carve out these very unique um, shapes, just its ability to get that width that water just doesn't do. Um, the other concept we often think about with glaciers is this concept of a hanging valley. And this is kind of a hard thing to draw, but I think what I'll do is do it kind of from a top view. So um, natural systems of drainage, doesn't matter if it's water or ice, you would have your main channel. So this again is a map view down from the top. And then you would have a small channel, let's say feeding in something like that. And whether that's water or ice, it does the exact same thing. Now, if we think about what happens with water, these are gonna be cutting down kind of at the same amount. So that where it meets right here will be at the same elevation. It starts high and then gets to the same elevation here, starts high, gets to that same point elevation there. Now, when we think about um, a glacier, this trunk or this um, channel here for that ice to come down is gonna be quite wide. So let's first widen that a bit here. And that's also gonna be quite deep, something like you're seeing here. So let's take this depth here and say this is like 400 feet. Okay, so it's like 400 feet deep in this area there. Now this smaller little feeder glacier, it's good, since it's gonna be a lot smaller, so let's say that it looks something like this, maybe it's only um, 50 feet deep. Okay, so we're gonna draw a smaller little channel there that this glacier is carving out. And so this is going to be, I'd have to make that way small, so 50 feet deep. So now when the ice melts away, you're gonna have this 400 foot kind of cliff right in here and you're gonna have a 50 foot cliff right in there. And so from the side view here, if I were to try to draw that kind of back, if that um, glacier was coming in something like that, it might've cut down, but it's only gonna cut down, let's say 50 feet into here. And so once water starts flowing there, there's gonna be a giant waterfall that crests over. And um, I'll add a picture of Yosemite Valley and talk to that um, on screen right now. So here's Yosemite Valley, and you can see that the main valley carved would be right in here. Here's the U shape that we've talked about before. So the glacier would have occupied this area and come down this valley right here. Now we can also find part of the U over here on this side wall, stretching its way up into this side wall here. Now you'll notice there's this little waterfall in here, and it's actually coming out of that hanging valley, and here's the U for that smaller stream that feeds in. So there was a small glacier that came in here and carved this small U shape, a large glacier that flowed in here, carving this big U, and when all that ice melted, it left behind this big vertical cliff because the big glacier was able to down cut much deeper than this small little glacier in here. And so that's why you have this hanging valley here and the waterfall spilling over now.